it's Gaming Gear, and we haven't done, I haven't done, a PC build video in a insanely long time. I've still kept up with technology, don't worry. But I was building the computer for a friend, I'm playing it out, so I figured I'd throw it up. So it's going to be an $1,800 build, it comes in a little bit under, but uh, you're going to be getting A, a Core i7 processor, uh, 16 gigs of RAM, SLI, graphics cards, uh, very efficient power supply, SSD, all that good stuff. So to start off, we have an Intel Core i7 3770K, 3.5 gigahertz, 77 watt TDP, 8 megs of cache, uh, hyper threading. It's great for video editing, and unless you're a really, really, really hardcore editor, you're not going to need any more power. Um, plus, Ivy Bridge E is going to come out in like, I think it's planned for a release in a few months. So, um, I wouldn't really buy into Sandy Bridge right now if you could just wait a few months and get Ivy, Ivy Bridge E, which will be that much faster and power efficient, and maybe even have Thunderbolt. I don't know, though. I It should. The problem with Thunderbolt is you need to integrate graphics with it, which the um, Sandy Bridge pro E processors actually don't have, because they're expecting you to not have to run integrated graphics if you're going to buy that expensive processor, which I understand. So, uh, for the motherboard, we're going with a Gigabyte GA-Z77X, uh, UD5H, comes in 179 bucks. it's got support for SLI, Crossfire, it's got lots of SATA 6 ports, plenty of USB 3, it's got integrated graphics if you want to run that, all four DIMM slots, so overall, great motherboard. And it's got the and 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 Tech Editor's Choice. I, I base this stuff off of the ratings and the features, not off of... Who gave it the highest choice? For the RAM, we have G-Skill Rip Jaws series. Uh, it's 16 gigs. Um, it, uh, we're going to be buying two 8 gig kits. They run at 1600 megahertz, 40 bucks each. That totals to 80 bucks. You know, a great deal for that much RAM. For the video card, we're going to be running a ASUS GTX 660 DC2022GD5. There's 660 Ti's, we're going to be running two of them. They have dual fans, they have Asus's um, very nice copper uh, plating stuff, so that it cools a lot faster. 2 gigs of RAM, all that great stuff. Oh, they're actually not 60, 660 Ti's, my bad, they're just regular 660's. If you want to upgrade to the Ti, it's going to cost you an extra couple hundred bucks. I didn't have the money to fit into this budget. For, for the case, we're going to be going with a Cooler Master half 932. Uh, this is a great case. I've built into it before. Plenty of room, plenty of fans, nice little window. It has a red LED fan. And for 159 bucks, it's a great full tower case. For the power supply, we're going to be running a Corsair HX850. This is 8 plus gold, and it has support for Crossfire and SLI. All that great stuff. It's made by Corsair, which I believe they got their parts from Seasonic, but I'm not sure. But it's going to have plenty of power, be very efficient. It also has a quiet fan, so it's going to be awesome. Now, for the SSD, we're going to be running Samsung's newest SSD, the 840 series. Just released, I think, last month. 250 gigabytes, SATA 3, of course, 6 gigabit a second. This is going to be plenty fast for 180 bucks. Getting 250 gigs this fast is incredible. And for the hard drive, we're going to be running a Western Digital WD Black. This is the 2 terabyte flavor. It has 7200 RPM, 64 megs of cache, SATA 6, all that great stuff. Plenty of storage for the stuff you can't cram onto your SSD. If you want to upgrade to a 3 terabyte, it's going to be like probably, I'm guessing around 70 bucks more. So that's always an option. For the DVD drive, we're going to be using a Light On Black. You know, it's a DVD drive. It's got the best ratings in town. You only really need it to install Windows and any old PC games you have lying around or if you need to burn some CDs. But it's great to have one anyway. And for 20 bucks, you really can't go wrong. You can find them a bit cheaper, like for 15 if you look around. Now for the OS, Newegg is still selling Windows 7 Home Premium. However, they know that people want it, so they jack the price up. It's now 180 bucks. I put in Windows 8, six, these are both 64-bit versions, uh, just because it's got, it's the newer one, it's going to be even better when Service Pack comes out, 
and you know, I mean, you skip Metro and it should be fine. I mean, it's not, it's not as bad as all these people are hyping it to be. But uh, yeah, so the total for all this fantastic PC components is one thousand seven hundred and eighty four dollars and eighty eight cents so thanks for watching guys i'll leave a link to all the parts in the description or links atari links um so thanks for watching rate comment favorite and subscribe and see you guys